Conquering the bottom. Going on? Oh, my machete. Oh, yeah. Well, if you are not figuring out what's going on, eh, we're cleaning out the truck. We're here at home, still, Vegas, where we are now remaining. New hotness, old hotness. Turn that APU off. All right. It ain't doing no good, no how. Yeah, we're cleaning the truck out. All of our shit in the garage. Anybody want some new load locks? Just got them. <laughs> Boomstick. Anywho, yeah. Brand new load locks. Anybody wants them? Cheap. You get them from Prime for 35 a piece. They're brand new. Didn't even get a chance to use them. I just had to pick them up on the last load because we needed load locks. I'll sell them to you cheap. How about 50 for the whole bunch? 120 bucks worth of load locks. 50 bucks. Who wants them? Right? Anybody coming through Vegas, let me know. I'll bring them to you. Oh yeah, we're cleaning out the truck today. Saturday. We gotta take it back in the morning. Drive up to Salt Lake, drop it off, and then come home. Looks like I probably have a job offer come Monday anyways doing line haul for a LTL company doing doubles and triples good money probably be 65 75,000 a year shit like that right back up in it hey, anybody uh curious like what the fuck you leaving for man I thought you guys just blah 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 uh yesterday Friday June 9th we got our estimated quarterly taxes sent to us of what we owe from uh, the CPAs. And for this quarter alone, we owe $6,200 in taxes. And if anybody's listened to our videos over the past several months, making money at Prime has been hard. We've been sitting on the same 5000 bucks for months. When people say, oh, you're supposed to save money for your taxes. Yeah, we do. Everything extra we save. We just put it in the bank. But after we pay our bills every month, the income we're actually making here hasn't been able to do much better than, you know, us sitting on $5,000 a month. So we've gotten up a little bit. Bills come up, child support, whatever. Car payment. Rent. Everything, you know plus two in seven months of being with El Primo of P to the Rhyme, we've acquired a $10,000 tax deficit as well. So we've actually dug ourselves in a hole rather than made better money. So the overhead here is so much that, you know, the actual income you make just isn't enough. So we got our quarterlies for first of the year and it was 40 what was, what was our first quarter like 4100 bucks 4400 bucks yeah. which we had about four thousand dollars in the bank at the time so if we actually paid our taxes we had no money left over if that makes sense so we're like uh we can't pay that right now otherwise we're just flat broke as usual you know we're basically company employees living paycheck to paycheck it's like we're trying to build money here people you got to run us better so we can make more money save up more money so we can actually pay our fucking bills and it just hasn't come around now the past couple weeks they did put us on some high value shit made a little bit better money but that's going to be hit and miss i'm sure you're not going to get that all the time so we're going to be right back to making our standard shit money so we both just looked at each other and said enough it's not even a matter that we could go back out. We could. Yeah, and we could just keep doing what we do and dig a bigger hole that, with this tax situation and everything. Or we could nip it in the bud. Like I said, with my experience, 
I went back down, signed up with the Teamsters already, put my name on the books with them, went to a couple of places for... I'll get those chains out if you want. You don't need to hump those things, they're like a hundred something pounds. Although you're tougher than me, so hear that shit, she's in there humping all the bags of chains out. Yeah, we bought chains, we got load locks, we got all kinds of gear, CB, everything that, you know, we put money out on. Fuck it, I own it. I'm taking that fridge out too, fuck that shit. Anybody want to buy a fridge? If it's in a Freightliner Cascadia, let me know. 50 bucks. 50 bucks for a fridge. Nice little fridge. Clean. Works good. It even has a freezer in it. Fits in a Cascadia. I think it'll fit in a Pete. It's like a little bit smaller fridge. It doesn't fill up the whole compartment. So it's got some room on the sides and everything. So I got load locks. I got a fridge. I got a nice Cobra 19 digital cb it's 140 bucks brand new hell i'll give that away for 50 bucks 50 bucks for load locks 50 bucks for a fridge 50 bucks for the fucking cb all kinds of truck accessories and everything at this point i don't intend to go back over the road unless i absolutely had to one day we got chains too and yeah we cables. got chains got a full set of chains for uh, super singles and a set of cables and there's also a set of drag cables too for the trailer. So, fuck, I paid just about 500 bucks for all the chains. I'll let those go. 300 bucks for a full set of chains for super singles. How's about that? And the cables. Cheap, 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 brand new, never used. Right out of the bag. The only chain is the one I pulled out just to check it, it's hanging here on the hanger. It's rusty just from riding down the road over the winter, but that's new too, hadn't even been touched. Cause I don't chain up, bitches. Oh, my old hard hat. Oh. That's years of doing fuel. I've had that helmet since fucking 2002. Yeah, it's no good. What, this? They, yeah, they go bad after five years. They got a stamp date in the bottom of the hood. I don't give a shit, still works. <laughs> there ain't no date in this one. I took this is how you keep your hair nice with a hard hat. You cut the netting out of it. I know, kind of defeats the purpose of a hard hat, you know, like good God woman. Hercules, Hercules. Oh, that's the big one. God damn, you ripped all that shit out of there? Yep. Look at you. Uh, trying to preserve the truck. Oh, fuck, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. You were on it. I guess I gotta get up in there and fuck around with the fridge and shit, huh? Yeah, I just, the, just the other door needs to get cleaned out. That's it. Okay. Everything out is out. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? Getting all hot and sweaty? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. I when I used to work. <laughs> <laughs> when I used to work for a living. You toss me that thing off. Make sure it don't break. There goes our infamous camera holder. The old Max Mount. Good times, huh? Yeah. Does it make you happy? Yeah. So like, yeah. Yeah, yeah you motherfucker. The mattresses out of here? No. Leave that shit. That's their problem. Unless you want to keep the one. Yeah, I didn't know if you wanted the blue one. I mean, if you want to keep it for anything, we can, but... I mean, you make a good, like, a uh, floor mattress for when someone stays in there. Yeah, I mean, it's memory foam. You just throw a blanket on top yeah, of it, I guess. Got yeah. It. yeah, just got it. It's new. Might as well. Might as well. So, yeah. With a $10,000 tax bill looming over us for seven months of being at El Primo. Ugh. We figured no matter what money we make, we're just constantly digging a hole for ourselves at this point. Given that Landstar got bumped back and I got turned down twice for truck financing, so we kind of just leveled it out to uh, we better cut our losses while we can. Cut out this door? Yeah. It'll bend. Come on, Hercules. Hercules, Hercules. Well, you want me to take it out the other door? I just had to get on the other side. Hercules, Hercules. Bitch, my fucking fingernail out almost.
Yeah. Now that we're home all the time, though, get this fucking place cleaned up. You gotta care. I'll get that shit. Here you go, you can handle this. There you go. Everyone wants to see you. Yeah, get over and help these chain bags, woman. Bend over. Show that thong a dong off. God damn. Don't go bust in your back. That's like 150 pounds. There's the cables. Like I said, there's a couple, couple of uh, cables in here to use as uh, drags. I, I got a rock star out here too. I'll drink that. It's cold. Uh, water. <laughs> All right, we'll check back in a minute. But yeah, truck's just about cleaned out. Back to Salt Lake with you, bitch. All right, we'll check back. Well, look who decided to show up. Uh, getting comfy? Yeah. Here, pop the trunk. Let's put some of the stuff back there. What the hell? <laughs> Got a whole bunch of melted cinnamon rolls back there. Yeah, just bought them. Oh my god! No, Dude, what's all that crap on your face? A Cheeto dust. What's up? Hi. Did you sign out of the car call? No. I said we're ready for another load. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. God damn it. God damn it! Not the most important thing. Where is it? Where is it? Oh. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. How many times did I just fucking close that thing? Ew. What? He's joking. What? Did you ever keep this in the trunk too? Yeah, what is it? You? You got your sunglasses? Yeah, they're in the trunk. I'll shove you in the trunk. Why? No. Why? Why? Bye, Prime. Why? Bye, Prime. It's been real. Why? Brent, stop, please. Can't say it's been real fun, <laughs> but it's been real. Yeah. Right? Okay. Away we go. Right. We 
did turn the truck in today. <laughs> we have hauled ass up to Salt Lake, turned the truck in. Now we're almost back home. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. Good times for everybody. Yeah. I gotta admit, I love this car even more now. <laughs> Got a chance to really haul ass in this thing all the way back home. I drove the truck up. drive if you really want me to. I have a headache. <laughs> but I'll drive if you want me to. Right. <sighs> hey! Did I get you too? Hey bud. Did I get you too? What? next <laughs> actually we don't know Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a couple of interviews but uh, nothing uh, concrete yet but as uh, you know the, uh, the thing that kind of cinched it for us the other day we got our on Friday we got our uh, email of our estimated quarterly taxes for sixty two hundred dollars. Yeah. We're like, uh we don't even have that money. We don't even have that money. And even the first quarter it was forty four. Forty four hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have it then. Yeah. And we're like, uh how are we gonna pay this? So now it's you know almost eleven thousand. Yeah, we're talking ten K. I mean granted we can put a few more write offs into it and stuff like that, but we really looked at the numbers of just being so unrealistic that they're not running us well enough to even pay it. To even pay our taxes. We pay our own medical insurance. We have to pay our own taxes. And it's like we got a thousand dollars a month going out in medical insurance. Yeah, we're only doing so so because we don't pay our taxes. If we pay yeah, our taxes, it, we might as well. When we thought down. about it, it's like we paid our taxes right now. It would take all the money we have in the bank. And then we'd still and we'd owe. still owe and and for what? So we could be on the road and miserable and being run wrong anyways. I mean, it's been going on for months. You know, and it just, it's not worth it. Yeah. We nip it in the bud now. Go home. Bite the bullet. We'll find jobs. I do have one decent offer on the table right now, it looks like. Pretty good, pretty good chance, I think. Yeah. They're chomping at the bit. It is nice having 20 years of experience, all your endorsements, and a clean record, and a lot of experience driving all kinds of stuff. Yeah, it's not the best job, but it's a, a right now. Job. It's it's a good job. It's a good job, I'd say. It's decent. Yeah. It's got good health insurance with it, retirement, all that kind of stuff. It's driving line haul for a prominent LTL carrier. <laughs> It'd be night. You know, usually starting about 7 p.m. But you know. A lot of out and back though, like going to LA and back every night. So I'd be home every day pretty much. Except for the one the once in a while trip. What? I said except for the occasion. Yeah, occasional trip to places like Reno and then you gotta you gotta lay down in Reno because it's a day cab, you know, so um, but I've done line hall work before and stuff, so not a big deal. But they do offer really nice benefits with it and everything, so the money would be decent. Be, it'd be a paycheck, so. But we could be paying our taxes at least, and yeah, we don't have not to digging this hole yeah. week to week. You know, being run so poorly. I mean, the only thing that even helped us out a little bit was the past couple of weeks getting some of these high value loads uh, that paid better. What? The So we decided to 
kind of cut and run with the money we got. So, uh, yeah, the uh, past year and a half that we've been on the road. No way, man. No. Run it, bro. No way. But your pussies out. are all slowing down, man. You could have made it. <laughs> Good times. Cha. Expected to go out on the road and make money and do better. And uh, I kind of say it backfired. <laughs> That's just not, not what it used to be, you know. I do believe that the, uh, the game has been whittled down to you're just going to make a paycheck no matter what. So. And later we'll do a whole, now, you know, I can, I can kind of take the reins off about talking about Prime, so. We'll do videos about Prime. If anybody got questions, you know, we'll talk about it. I don't care. I ain't got to worry about him trying to fire me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we'll check back in a minute. We're home. Oh my god. How does it feel? Blood. Whoa, that's bright. Home shed home. Yay. <laughs> So it's time to booze up, right? Yeah, we gotta take out all this garbage. Now comes the task of being home and getting this place back to living conditions. Living condition. Yeah. Our uh, storage unit of a house has just had, as you can see, all the mail, right? Yeah. We gotta go through all that. Yeah. Garbage. Well, you guys are gonna be amazed when you see it in a week from now. Yeah. Dope. So, yeah, a week from now, this house will be all renovated. Yeah. <laughs> Garbage. Don't stuff in the trash. Take it out. Yeah, we've already gone back out of by trash cans, you know, because we had one little trash can here before. So we can get everything together. Nice windy night. It's only like 73 degrees out in Vegas right now. we got like a little cold system moving through right now. So, I'll take some of that too. Yep, here it is. Back home. Every day. Every day, all day. Cars. Oh man, can't wait to have this baby. Taking it to the shop tomorrow. Get it serviced. Get it smogged again. Hell yeah. That was one fun little hot rod, man. Alright, it's been a long day. I'm gonna wrap this video up. Back home. Everything's good. Job offers this week, hopefully. And we'll get back down to business, straighten this thing out. So, no more prime. No more long haul. How do you feel about that? Are you happy that we're home? See y'all. See y'all. Good job. Good job. Good time. Good call. Good call. What are you doing? Looks like you're cleaning up after a big old like frat party. I know. It's All the beer good. cans in it. <laughs> right? It looks like it. So, all right, we'll wrap this up. Though. Check back later. Right? Out. Home.
Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey!